Bar for Bar Album Reviews, Scorpion the Dance MC, What's Life Without Trial and Error. What's Life Without Trial and Error is the debut studio album from Scorpion the Dance MC. And if that name sounds familiar, you may have heard it on the podcast a couple months ago where I highlighted his track Colder Times. And when I heard that track, I was really excited to see what else we would hear from Scorpion in the future. And here we are with the album. Now, with this album and every album, the first place to look at is the title, What's Life Without Trial and Error? Now, that's essentially just a saying that means, how can you say you've lived life without going through things? Like, to you, know, you have nothing to look back on. Like, you have to go through all these trials and errors and just anything that happens in life to most people. Like, everyone's going to go through some sort of issues in life and just all these steps on the way to get to where you want to be at the end of the day. Like, if you want to further your career, if you want to be a big rapper, like, you, there's a bunch of steps on the way. So that's kind of what we get throughout this whole project. And honestly, you you can see it a lot just from the track titles, such as Tomorrow Not Promised, Freedom, Life Cinema, Happiness and Discomfort. And that's just in the first five tracks. Like, you have so many titles that are very focused on these things that go on in life like tomorrow's not promised like yeah obviously <laughs> you never know what's going to happen now, on the topic of track titles the album is 17 tracks long at about 52 minutes so maybe a little bit longer than some people would like but i think it's okay like it's not too long in my opinion and honestly you get such a variety of sounds and just topics that it didn't really seem that long to be completely honest that accompanied with how a lot of the tracks are sequenced you can't really always tell when it goes on to the next track because it just flows pretty well into the next one and i think that makes a big difference when you're listening to it like obviously <laughs> there are other times where it's like oh this track is just dragging on and I, i've been hearing the same thing over and over again but that's not the case here. Each track has its own identity of sorts, but it just happens that each one flows really well into the next one. Now, I will say, the production for me didn't really click right away, and that's just because I've been listening to different sounds entirely, so it took me a little bit to kind of get into the rhythm of the project. But once you get past that and really focus in on the lyrics, it's pretty solid. The biggest highlight and if you were to listen to literally only one track on this project i would say it has to be life cinema because life cinema basically goes through scorpion's life up until where he is now essentially he talks about his family life how his mom had cancer and how his dad was killed and then as time went on like obviously like if you know your dad's been killed and you, he's just not, like, you don't have a father figure necessarily, like, or someone who's, I guess, an identical replacement. It's not, you feel different. Like, it feels like something's missing. So, But as time went on, he's realized, like, there's these other father figures in his life, like his godfather, his uncle, his stepdad, like, all these people who are really just spitting game to him and really just pushing him forward. And by the end of it, he is the dance MC we all know. So it's it's a really good story in my mind, and it pretty much is encapsulates everything that this project is about. In fact, even on the hook or bridge, I don't remember the exact term for it, but you hear what's life without trial and error. Like it's essentially the title track for the project. Now, aside from that, we do have other tracks that touch on some I guess heavier things. Uh, just in general that I think a lot of people can relate to. On Freedom, he mentions, I don't want to survive, I want to live. He wants to be able to actually enjoy life and live it to its fullest. I don't remember exactly if it was on this track or one of the following tracks, but he's talking about how, you know, there's all these things going on, like um, people's like major events, like birthdays or baseball games or even funerals, unfortunately. Like, because we're kind of in this society where you have to you have to basically work your ass off to survive like you can't really 
take a step back and indulge or just be present for people. Like it puts a strain on relationships across the board, of course, but even beyond that, it's putting so much pressure on yourself because you're just like, okay, well, what do I do now? Like I'm like, do I take time off to be there for someone else and then risk having to like scrape together extra money? And it's, it's something I'm sure, I'm sure most people can relate to. I mean, it's, it's just kind of how life is, unfortunately, right now. This sort of reflection continues on on Letters to My Loved Ones, where he's essentially like reminiscing about the ones that have passed away or who may still be here, but he's not really able to be with. And the other thing that he touches on with Letters to My Loved Ones is even though that these people have passed, they're still there, if you know what I mean. Like for me, the way I always think of it is if someone passes away, the thing that essentially keeps them here, like, I mean, however you may feel about it, or at least here or in your memories is just the memory of them. Like, even though they may not physically be here, they'll always be here in some sort of spiritual sense. So I think that's kind of what he's alluding to here as well. Like, you're just all, like, they may not physically be here, but they're still here, you know what I mean? So it's, it's a very, I like how it's been done. As the album wraps up, we get some really solid tracks with Chill Zone featuring T. Carrier, and then What's Next, which is featuring production from Tope, which, if you're not aware, he's an up-and-coming Bay legend. You just, just mark my words, it'll happen. Um, but What's Next is a great track because it's essentially just like, all right, well, here's everything that I've done, everything, he just laid everything out, what's going to happen next? And that's always a great way to think about it, like, you don't want to stay stagnant. You want to keep moving. You want to keep progressing. You want to keep getting better. So to have that, it's great. And then to end the album with Beautiful Testimony, just the title alone, honestly, tells you a lot. Like if you've listened to the whole project and then you see the title, you're like, okay, essentially what this track is going to be is like a recollection of everything he's done, all the things that he's gone through, all the trials and errors that he's gone through in life to get to where he is now. And essentially this is just his testimony. Like, and his testimony is beautiful. Like, and I think that's something that we all should think about too. Like, yeah, we all go through hard times and we all deal with stuff, but eventually things do get better. And well, for most people at least. And the fact that he can point out all these things that have gone through and gone on in his life, and can exactly point out where he is now and that he's accomplished some of the or yeah some of the goals if not all the goals that he's set for himself like this is a testimony to that yeah life is trial and error we (laughs) we got to figure it out ourselves it's not easy but overall i did enjoy this album it was like i said it took me a little bit to get into just because of the production differences from what i'm more accustomed to at least recently but once you get beyond that, I mean, I'm, I don't know that everyone's going to have that issue. Um, but once I got beyond that, I was able to really enjoy what Scorpion was saying. And there's just a lot of messages that I feel many people can relate to. And, you know, if you take a step back and think about it, hip hop and rap is a culture full of braggadocio, but not really, not necessarily talking about all the steps that it takes to get there. Like, yeah, they just kind of generalize it. And they're like, oh, I did all these things. I had to I had to do stuff I didn't want to do, but, you know, now I'm here. But to have someone actually just lay everything out and kind of essentially humanize it is unique and definitely interesting. Uh, with that said, I am very excited to see what Scorpion has coming next. And, yeah, it's, it's a great project. Check it out. Uh, my favorite tracks... I mean, like I said, if you have only one track you can listen to, definitely listen to Life Cinema. But I also really enjoy Glory, What's Next, and Beautiful Testimony. But that's all I've got for now. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of this album, if you've listened to it. If not, definitely check it out. I'm sure you'll gain something from it. Because really it feels like there's there's a little bit of everything in it. Like someone's gonna, you're going to pull something from it that like connects to you directly 
Uh, but yeah, I enjoyed it. Let me know what y'all think in the comments below. Also, like and subscribe if you want to see more reviews and content like this. Thank you for watching, and please stay safe out there.